talking about bargains. What about a bargain bucket? Phil Vickery is in the kitchen uh, with his Korean fried chicken, mm. OK? PFC, Phil's fried chicken. Uh, how are you going to do this? Well, let me just stop, start by saying, um, I've eaten it around the world, um, you know, Far East, everywhere. The, one of the best ones I ate was in Cornwall, actually. It was, it was just delicious. So I thought I'd perfect one of, the, the, yeah. of our version of it. First of all, here it is. There, look, there it is, there, look. So it's, it's twice fried and you put uh, sesame seeds and spring onions and a little dipping sauce as well. So it's just about getting the basic things right. So here, let's talk about chicken. In here we have chicken, which is thigh, no skin, no fat, no bone, chopped up in, in sort of, I don't know, sort of three or four centimetre pieces. And why thigh and not chicken breast? I think chicken breast is very, very good, especially when we're going to coat it in corn flour, mm. but sometimes if you ever cook it, because we're twice cooking this, oh. it does dry out. So you could, it, it tends to be a little bit more, um, what's the word, flexible, yeah. I think the word mm -hmm. is. So in here I've got a mixture of a bit of soy sauce, a bit of uh, mirin in there, which is a fermented rice wine, and a little touch of fish sauce. Now, it tastes like petrol, I know it does, but hey, that, that, not to worry about that, mm. but a little bit of that fermented fish sauce brings out the flavour of the chicken. So, so this is like something I would be more familiar with maybe in a Chinese restaurant. Very similar, yeah. very similar to that sort of flavour profile, certainly. Now, what, what I'll do is then, here, that's been marinating for about an hour, and then what I do, then drop it into corn flour or any starch. So arrowroot, tapioca starch. Um, it's just the, this is bog standard corn flour. Cut it in the in, in the uh, the corn flour. You need to make sure it's fairly well coated, so there's no bit of exposed sort of uh, bits of flesh like that. I put that onto there, and then what you do is you twice fry it. So why twice? Just for that crispiness. You cook it through, and then you crisp it up for the second go. Okay. So over here in this fryer, this is about set at one seven five. I'm just going to pop in the bits of chicken into here. So we're not really browning them too much. We're just going to cook them through, almost like blanching them, but they will take on a bit of, uh, bit of texture. And if you haven't got the deep fat fry, could you do them in a deep... Oops, excuse me, a deepish frying pan? Yes, you can. Absolutely. You can, do, you can even just stir fry them as well yeah. the, same, the same way. But you don't get that overall crunch around the yeah. whole thing. Now, whilst we're over here, let's talk about a sauce to go with it. This is the uh, sauce which we're going to coat the chicken in. So here I've got a bit of garlic and ginger chopped up. In that goes. Then I've got a bit of ketchup, tomato ketchup, in that goes as well. Then we're adding a little bit of Holly's honey, mm -hmm. not too much because we want it too sweet. Probably, I don't know, a dessert spoon through something Have we like that. we still got our bees. Yeah. Mm. They're still around. Um, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar. Sorry, that's Miriam, I do apologise. Rice wine vinegar in that goes. And what's so Miriam again? Miriam is a fermented Miriam. rice wine. Mirin. Mirin. So it's a, it has a sweetness to it as well. Sesame oil, be very careful. I use toasted sesame oil, but a small amount, because it'll overpower everything. Mm. And this is Korean chilli paste. Here it is, I'll just show you that there. <gasps> How hot is that? Not too hot at all. No. no, no, it's not too hot at all. It's very sweet. So it's made by fermenting rice as well. Which where is where would you get Korean chilli paste? Now, some of the supermarkets do sell it. You can buy it online as well. So it is mm. there. Now, if you I can't get the, 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 the real thing. I sometimes use sriracha with a little bit of honey and some dried... And what's sriracha? Uh, sriracha is the chilli sauce. Right. It's a bog standard chilli sauce that everyone sells. But also a little bit of uh, uh, a dried chilli flakes as well will give you roughly the same idea. Chickens, look at that. So that is now, look at that. Even that small time we've been chatting. Yeah. There they are. So let's put these on here. Done, done. No, these, these are about three quarters done. All right. So, so you take those first out. Fry. That's the first fry. That's what they look like there. And you, when you make your sauce, do your bits and pieces. When you come to finish the dish, put them back in and it goes out. They'll probably be cooked right through right. anyway. Cucumber. Let's talk about a, a cucumber relish to go with it. Here I've got a cucumber that I've just taken out the seeds. Hang on, sorry, I'm being really stupid here. No, no. So that sauce is what you've marinated the no, chicken No, that sauce in. is what we're going to coat the chicken in in the end. Oh, right, OK. okay. So I, I don't explain that very well. So we're going to serve a relish here. So cucumber, take the seeds out. You, so, you salt them and you leave them for sort of 20 minutes. And then you squeeze them out. So if you just taste that, Ruth, there's still a bit of salt in there. Mm, but, nice. the, but it's there, but it, but it hasn't but not lost... Too a, no, it has lost its bit of crunch either. So and you take the seeds out, why? Because it's too watery. It can be too watery. I mean, it's up to you. You can leave them in, but as you'll see a bit later on, you'll see that it, when you've marinated with... The, here we've got some sugar, some uh, ch uh, ch uh, Korean chilli, we've got ginger, we've got sesame seeds, we've got oil. So what this you're, is what you're making? Yeah, so this is what we're after. So you add that to it, then that becomes like a pickle. Can we see that there? No, not yet. There okay. it is. There's a pickle. Now, this is quite hot. I think okay. I'll leave Eamon, that. Eamon, do you want a little taste then. of that? There's a fork yeah. there. Does that, you put that there, a little taste of that. So, so this sort of counteracts everything else and gives it a bit of texture and a bit of crunch. Mm -hmm. it's quite... Now, once the chicken's refried, it comes out like this one here, which we made a bit earlier. 
And that sauce there, you cook down until you get to this stage here. Oh, right, OK. OK, so it's quite thick. And then what you do is you put the chicken into the sauce at the very last second, oh, as it goes um, a bit soggy. Yeah. So you just need to make sure that's nice and fresh. And then you want your toss yeah. on the Yeah, I did look at that. So you just coat that in the sauce. Like so, look at that. And People are literally oh, salivating oh, in my ear. And that is what we're on. Look I at just, this. Someone went, oh, so, so you hungry. get that lovely so touch hungry. more sauce into the. Let's have a touch more of that into there. So you want it to coat it, but not so it's not dripping off. It. Then add a few chopped spring onions into there, like that. Mm, doesn't this in look go. nice in the gallery? A few sesame mm. seeds, which have been toasted as well. Yeah. Yeah. There won't be any left. There will be none left for you upstairs. <laughs> and I did actually promise I would cook it for the gallery. Did and you say you cooked some for them? Yes, and that's it there. <gasps> And that is what we're after. Now, we rushed through it slightly, but you'll get the gist of it. But, but all the details are on the yeah, app. And they're very specific as well, so you need to twice cook it and make sure the chicken's cooked right through. But that mm. coating sauce just brings everything together with a little bit of the... And it is in. really crunchy. Yes. Well, that comes also from the coating, cos it's yeah. starch-based as well. Which no is... bones to worry about. No bones, no fat, mm -hmm. no skin. Mm. Mm. So do <laughs> Mm. So you would dish this up? Yeah, just a little bit on the side and mm -hmm. just put it on top of that. Of that. that counter, it's just, and yeah, a sweet. It yeah, but it is mm. quite hot. Oh, no. Yeah, very nice, mate. Well, there it is. That one. Delicious. Yep. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. Very nice.